there are different design criteria we must follow. There are codal provisions, there are Euro code, there is a American code, there is New Zealand code which are very elaborative on designing of the building into the high seismic regions. Whenever we talk about seismic in general, first thing strike to us as the western part of US is a California region where it's very active seismic uh, region. The another part of the world is the New Zealand where we have very high seismic activity, the earthquake magnitudes are very high. Both of this area is implementing precast very well and very successfully. There are no specific re prerequisites for building design into the seismic regions for precast, but there are general guidelines which should be followed, the architectural layout or the geometry of the building. If we make it as a uniform building, uh, by avoiding re-entering corners and the odd geometries that will help implement the precast in a more efficient way. It will control the building design and the control the cost of the construction by the better precast concrete technology. And one of the example or one of the simple case could be the, the shear wall. Implementation of shear wall continuously from right from the roof level to the foundation. If you can have the continuous shear wall system which can translate all different floor loads to the foundation continuous way, that will help a lot. What we call as a continual load path system. We have implemented precast very successfully and the modern precast concrete technology very successfully into high seismic zones. Elematic has provided the technology to produce precast elements and Elematic has provided the engineering services. One of the case is a, a major R&D center. We have built a 15,000 square meter building, five story uh, as a height of the building, seismic zone four. It's a precast multi-story column, pre-stressed beams, pre-stressed slabs, precast walls for basement, lifts and staircase, and conventional as a cast in situ shear walls to take care of the lateral forces. The span of the slabs are 12 meters and 15 kilonewton per square meter of loads. Uh, just to give the comparison is the normal residential building is 2 kilonewton per square meter loading and this 12 meter spans of the slab is very large spans. So it's just kind of very challenging of its kind of building. First ever time in India we implemented precast into this building and it's very successfully done. Most of precast elements been used in there and very efficiently we could complete the whole 15,000 square meter building into 11 months time. Another one is uh, Elematic has provided the engineering services and we have provided the machinery also for the production of precast element is for residential towers. It's a 37 story buildings into the north uh, region again in the NCR region. The lateral load resisting system is same with the shear wall which is the conventional concrete shear walls and the cast in situ columns. The beams are precast, the slabs are precast again is a pre-stress slab so it's a large span and a lot of architectural flexibility and the external facade walls are also precast component. By implementing precast they could achieve a very less maintenance of the building also. The life cycle cost of the building has reduced substantially. We need to design the building properly and it precast can very well be implemented into high seismic regions. There is no limitations to it.